A radical can be simplified if we can factor the radicand. If a radicand is a multiple of a perfect square or perfect cube, it can be simplified very quickly. Whenever you have a square root, take a close look at it and see if it's a multiple of a perfect square. If so, factor it and take the square root of the perfect square. Let's do an example. You're asked to simplify the square root of 28. 28 can be factored to 4 times 7. You can break up the square root of 4 times 7 to the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. 4 is a perfect square, and the square root of 4 is equal to 2. 7 is a prime factor, so just bring down the square root of 7. So you're left with 2 times the square root of 7, which you can compact to 2 root 7. To summarize, the square root of 28 can be simplified to 2 root 7. Let's do another example. You're asked to find the square root of 450. 450 can be factored to 225 times 2. You can split the square root of 225 times 2 into the square root of 225 times the square root of 2. 225 is a perfect square. You might remember that the square root of 225 is equal to 15. The square root of 2 cannot be simplified anymore, so just bring it down here. Now you're left with 15 times the square root of 2, which you can compact to 15 root 2. To summarize, the square root of 450 can be simplified to 15 root 2. Now we'll talk about cube roots. Whenever you have a cube root, take a close look at it and see if it's a multiple of a perfect cube. If it is, then factor it and take the cube root of the perfect cube. Let's do an example. You're asked to simplify the cube root of 135. 135 can be factored to 27 times 5. The cube root of 27 times 5 can be broken down to the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 5. You might recognize 27 as a perfect cube. The cube root of 27 is just 3. 5 is a prime number, so the cube root of 5 cannot be simplified. So simply write it down here and you're left with 3 times the cube root of 5. So you can summarize by stating that the cube root of 135 can be simplified to 3 times the cube root of 5. If there's a center dot before a cube root radical, it's best not to remove it. We'll do one more example. Let's say you're asked to simplify the cube root of negative 256. Remember you can take the cube root of a negative number. Negative 256 can be factored to negative 64 times 4. The cube root of negative 64 times 4 can be broken down to the cube root of negative 64 times the cube root of 4. Negative 64 is a perfect cube. The cube root of negative 64 is equal to negative 4. The cube root of 4 cannot be simplified, so just write it down here and you're left with negative 4 times the cube root of 4. So in summary, the cube root of negative 256 can be simplified to negative 4 times the cube root of 4. So examine radicands very closely. If a radicand is a multiple of a perfect square or perfect cube, it can be simplified quickly. If you have a square root, see if it's a multiple of a perfect square. If so, factor it and take the square root of the perfect square. If you have a cube root, see if the radicand is a multiple of a perfect cube. If so, factor it and take the cube root of the perfect cube.